Steve Evans, wrong end of a 3-2 scoreline. Did you deserve that? I think, you know, I think, I think the Bolton public spoke, didn't it, at the end? Um, I think we're by far the better team for long periods. Um, I think I've got to be careful what I say about the match referee. Horrendous, horrendous decisions. Um, they should be down to nine men, eight men maybe. Um, the challenge on Pierre Gianni is just a, it's a penalty. It's a straight red. Every day of the week it's a straight red. Um, the one just before half time. Players already hit two fills since he got a caution. It's another one. He should go. But um, and then, but you get it some of the away grounds. You're tend to go putting all the pressure on the little boy boys and ball girls. They sent away up there for the for the cocoa and the night off the games. But that's not nothing in the ball. This is a fantastic football club. We made a really good team, but we're very average at home. Very good. But we get nothing for it, so we have to go back and look forward to Wigan after a long trip home. But you make a long trip and you have officials like this. You know, they've got problems with VR in the Premier League. We've got big problems if that's the standard officials in League One. You, it was a good response from the, your players, wasn't it, after going a goal down? Because that could have gone the other way. Well, listen, Dan Butler's acted like a 10 year old, anyway. Challenge in the box from just a simple stand them up and send them away, and he dives in. It's a penalty, no complaints with that. Um, thought we'd come back in the game. We're 1 1. We're on the, on the wrong end of some real poor decisions. Um, and then we give a, a poor second goal away as well. So all three goals that are, are highly avoidable, you know, individual errors. You know, a second one, as I said, he gets blocked, but shouldn't get blocked. We've been around the block too long to say he gets blocked, and you know, we're bolting. And the, and the third one is, is all starts. We we should just let a simple Jordan Robertson just let it simply to to Sweens and he does it. He tries a difficult ball. They cut it out and within two passes they're through and go. The defending now is is that becoming a problem? Is no, three goals all from well, it's, 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 a, it's a problem you do. But what does? It's a, that's a problem. It's a problem for example if Leather says then he gets blocked. Um, but you know her, her performance tonight. People look and say, "Ah, oh, we lost the ball." <laughs> We shouldn't lose tonight. We should win the game tonight. I'll go and see him. We've got all the excuses. I mean, Herb Webb thinks he's got problems. They've got huge problems in the football league. The standard of officiating, he never just said, and they've won the game. He says he's he's been with us tonight. Any that, that's the understatement from the big man. And I wish this club every success. We'll try our best to beat them when they come and play us at the Lamex. But other than that, I'd love to see them go and get promoted because they're a great club. How much do you think the crowd in, gets involved with the decisions? Well, I think the crowd spoke tonight, didn't they? The crowd gave. Um, Got them decisions. Mm. Um, I think I think these are good, good honest people. The Bolton public. Um, I think they expect the Arndale to go off just before half time for for yellow. He doesn't get it, uh, and I think they expect um, the challenge of Pierre Janet to be punished with a red card. And there's two or three other instances in the middle of the park where we could we could apply certain things, but there's no, there's no point in me talking anymore. I put myself in trouble. But the standard of officials is getting. Absolutely dreadful. Let's talk about Jamie Reid. Some goal scoring form he's on at the moment. That first goal was just typical Jamie Reid. He's just goal second half. That's how I look at it. We expect Jamie Reid. He's improved out of all recognition since we come in. It's a great finish. He, he stands the boy up, goes by him, scores a good finish. But he should equalise, shouldn't he? You know, he's put it way to the far post. The standards of radio say he'll see it. Oh, and I'll say it. I should score. And um, but you know, we'll we'll take the pain of the journey. You know, we. We've no real complaints after Oxford because we didn't do our job. We have complaints tonight. We'll raise them, and we'll get the nonsense, just nonsense, nonsense reply from the EFL and an apology and an email. Jake Forstakowski as well, and another chance that was tipped over the bar. That was goal bound. It's a fantastic save, to be fair. Yeah. Kaski's done really well. He's we gave him a, a week or two to just take him at the spotlight of games because he just done become a daddy. So yeah, again, so he's. He's, uh, he's had some time to deal with that, but we had this game here, Mark from Russell, we got everything right today, going to the, the shape and the system change, what for us, uh, we put them under lots of pressure. I don't think there's many teams will, will come here, I mean, I watched a full rerun of when Wigan beat the four, they didn't have what we've had tonight. Mm. We've, had, we've had serious spells of undulating pressure, but you have to turn that into goals and wins. What do you do with your squad now? Kick them or cuddle them? Oh, no, listen, we, we, we sent a few home trips. I just said to Butler, the, the defending for the goal, they the same, the defending, the defending's poor. Um, but they'll learn from it. You know, the one thing we are, we're an honest group, the hard walking group. You can see the reaction walking off the pitch. They're looking at the match referee and they're all desperate to say something. And um, But we, we can't. But I'll go and say it for them when I go in there. Thanks, Steve.